the brilliant government, be the Kenyatta government, the senior Kenyatta, the Moi, the Kibaki, Uhuru, or even the, the Ruto now. The people have neglected our people for a very long time. You see, the Bunga people, we've supported these governments. Economically, economically. For example, our Baba, Moses Wetangla have supported Raila for a very long time. When he, Raila went to make a handshake with Uhuru, who was the first casualty? Was he not Wetangla? Raila removed the Wetangla from the Senate and replaced him with the Orengo. Was that not tribalism? Listen to me, listen to me very carefully. Then Raila comes to Pungoma and said, Adam Emin Mujugu, Avandu, number Kumina Saba. That is the highest level of hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Yes. Then this guy comes to Pungoma and says, Emini, what wrong? What is that now? We're talking. No, no, listen to me, bro. Listen to me. We are not the people. We are the people. Number two. Listen to me very well. No, listen to me. Who are you? 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 Toka inje. Ati baba nye nye nye. Mujinga wewe. Yana kushikia Michael Ovoz. Nimekosa atamu. Number two. Number two. Mr. Speaker, protect me from the noise. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, protect me. Okay, thank you. Kwa majina ni Victor Solomon ni kirudia. Nikianzia kwa mada ya Rigathi Gashagwa kusema hatoenda mahakamani kwa appeal against yule judge ni ujinga na kupima watu akili wali ya juu. Sababu kuu yake kusema haya ni kuwa Martha Kome the incompetent CJ said they are going to have a dialogue. Tunajua ya kuwa kuna chenji yake ya libaki. Badala aseme peupe. Anataka apewe yale ya lobaki. Anakuja kutuchocha. Tusha ongea haya na tutarudia kuyaongea. Kenya kote kuna uchafu. Ufisadi iko kote. Kuanzia kwenye bunge. Kwenye executive. Adi kwa mahakama. Na mjadala kuu ambao wanaenda kujadili si mambo e, kuhusiana na wananchi wa Kenya. Kwa kuwa tunajiuliza haya maamuzi yote ambayo yaliamuliwa kwa upande wa serikali mbona hawakusema wali walihonga mahakama. Na najiuliza tunamaanisha kuwa rais wetu na the executive are righteous people. Can't they make mistakes? Maana Tony General wetu analala kwenye kazi yake. Hamooji ha, ha, raisi wetu kisheria inavyo fa. Sa rais pamoja na deputy wake wamechanga nyikiwa. And our incompetent deputy president Rigiji is sincerely a confused fellow. In fact more than confused. Because he talks A in the morning and talks B in the evening. Because even if the dialogue is between the judiciary and the executive, how does that relate to his case? His case? And why had he not appealed earlier than now? Ama alikuwa na haja na uyu mama. Rigijitu na kuonya. Ukiwa kiongozi weni kiongozi wa taifa. Wesi kiongozi wako binafsi. Division in the in Mount Kenya. Ateni wambia, ini mchezo. And if we want to know, a real politician is Ruto. He's playing with these people of the mountain. And he wants them to create their own war. So that he can use somebody who is very competent. Because he knows very well. And the other day, 
someone quoted that Nindi Nyoro is the only man who can make Kenyan budget in a single day. Kwani yeye ni malaika ama yeye ndo the first economist wa hii Kenya. I advise you the people from the mountain region mnachezewa na huu mchezo msipoamka na muone huu usingizi hii game mnachezewa mtajipata pabaya na oh, I, uh, I conclude number four. Number two. Then I will come as number three. Ah, <laughs> uh, mimi nitaanza kwa kusema hivi. Tumeona pale hivyo wakati watu wa Mount Kenya wakianza kupigana wenyewe kwa wenyewe. Atuto advice Kenya mnafanya ndindi nyoro ukipata rigiji gonga yeye kabisa muswage na yeye rigiji ukipata ndindi nyoro gonga yeye tena mwanaume apatikane mumetutosha kila siku nyinyi kila siku ni furugu furugu kitu ya pili tulisikia kachagua alikuwa anaulizia mahakama anapita kando kando lakini Kenya mimi najua Kenya alikuwa anauliza mahakama ni zile pesa zake zenye alitoa kachagua anataka kurudishiwa mkono Ameona serikali imekuwa ngumu. Sasa anajaribu kupita msuni. Kachago enda direct tuseme mother kaome nipatie pesa zangu zenye nilikupatia ama upatiwe balance yako. Si kuleta ujinga hapa hivi unapita kando kando kwa msuni. Sisi kama wa Kenya tumeamua na tumekwambia na tunakujua vizuri sana. Unasema utaonakania wengine wa kando. Eti watu wa gazeti wanakusumbua. Unaendaje kwa watu usiku kwani wewe ni mchawi? Wewe ni mchawi ndio unaenda usiku waende waangalie wa watu wengine. Mtu mkubwa tu mwenye unajulikana Kenya mzima, unaambia watu atakuja usiku. Mbona usiende mchana uonekane? Kama sisi kwetu tunajua, mtu ambaye anatembelea watu usiku ni mtu mchawi, mwizi, muganga na mwenye anaua. Hata watu wanaouliwa hao ni nyinyi mnafanya hivi tu alafu mnakuja mnajificha kando ya watu. Mwache kuua watu mkifanya ujinga hapa hivi. Enda waone usiku alafu sisi tutakuona mchana. Tuko na wewe macho kwa macho. Asandeni. Haya namba 4. Haraka haraka namba 4. Uh, mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa. This government was not formed for only the Bomet and the Rift Valley people. Every each and every time you talk of shares. I wonder if the six, the proclaimed six, uh, six million you got, they only came from Bomet. A whole deputy president, for the first time I'm meeting a deputy president who is only recognizing one region. That means he's a very incomplete deputy president. For the first time in the centuries, a deputy president saying, is going to meet a region at night at the new the, the gazette people are disturbing him can you go and meet them and then we'll come and face the wrath of the kenyans during the day you are going to lie to the people of bomet you are going to give them like your master does and fulfill promises and for this this reason let me take this opportunity to thank Honorable Charles Ket Alfred Keter. Start with the Rift Valley people. When they, when they.